I tried Botox once, hated it. I just, it was just the worst thing ever. Jane is an open book. She previously opened up about once having breast enhancement, but when it comes to the needle, she told me never again. Right now, I'm just starting a movie in which I'm playing a woman that is my age, and I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the fact that they can, you know, sidelight me and get all the wrinkles and crinkles and, and the rest of it, and I, I earned them. They're here. I can't think of a moment when, uh, you know, you of all people has seemed to be one ounce overweight. I keep reading in the papers, they say, oh, she's genetically that way, and her parents, her, her genetic family are that way, the DNA. No, I mean, we are talking very large, very large people. We're talking type 2 diabetes, we're talking... Oh my gosh. Um, you know, we're talking... My, my, my mother, who was an amazing woman, but she was very large, and she was you know, always on the tomorrow diet. You know, tomorrow. What a spectacular view of the coast from up here. Jane has worked hard for her success, but her gorgeous Malibu home and her accolades did not come easy. How do you look at your own life? I get up every day and I just do the best I can. I mean, I, I came to America when I was 26, and uh, I had no work permit, no agent. My agent fired me in England. And, you know, I, I lived on people's floors and drank chicken noodle soup and, you know, finally got some work. And the work has never stopped. Along with her roles, her Open Hearts jewelry line for K Jewelers is a complete success. But back when she was Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, she worked through a high-risk pregnancy with her twin sons. She had a serious medical condition, causing her blood pressure to dangerously rise. I had a, a near-death experience from having the babies. I had preeclampsia. They were born preemie. And the problem yeah. was that there wasn't enough room here to hold babies and feed me as well as the babies. So they were feeding off of me, which meant that I got really thin. 